just wanted to make sure that you got back okay. Back to jail, right? Because that's what this is. Tess, how did the procedure go? Fine. Just fine? <laughs> well, you try getting a needle in your stomach and see how you like it. So what did the doctor have to say? He said everything went fine, and we're going to find out the results in a couple weeks. All right, well, at least it's over. Nothing's over. We're still playing who's the daddy here. And then once we find out, yeah, that's when the fun's really going to start. Excuse me. Nash? How are you doing? I want to talk to Ted. Well, I don't want to talk to you. And I don't want to talk to you either. I want both of you out of my life. I'm here to tell you what happened with Claudia Reston. Just to hear me out. That's all I'm asking. Nash, I think it would be best if you left. Uh, now, wait a minute. I, th I think we should let him talk. Thank you. I know my timing is screwed up. But after you left the hospital, I took a look at the picture of that baby inside you, and I realized that if I had even a prayer of being a decent father, then I got to put my past behind me. And I need you to forgive me. Because if you can do that, then I have a chance at a fresh start, at being a better person, at being a good dad, like your dad. Tess, I want you back in my life. And if that means telling you what happened with Claudia Reston, then I'll do it. If you'll let me. Fine. Start from the beginning. And don't even think about leaving anything out. You know, I think... I think we know everything we need to know about your relationship with Claudia Reston. I'm sure you do, Antonio, but Tess would like to hear more. You heard her. Yeah, I, I don't really think we should make things any worse than they already are. Will you stop talking about me like I'm not even here? Start talking, and then you can get your ass out of here. I met Claudia Reston when I was out clubbing one night. Upper East Side. She was all lit up in a real party mood. The next thing I knew, I was in the back of her limo drinking $300 bottles of champagne. That's how she spent money. Like, it didn't even matter. And you know what? I figured, hey, if she wants to throw a little bit of my away, who am I to say no? So, you hooked up with her for loads of sex and even more money. Is that it? Yeah. Something like we only dated for about six months. It was nothing serious. I didn't even really like her most of the time. She was a spoiled little rich brat who needed some serious life lessons, and I needed the cash. So I figured, you know what? I took her for a ride, a very long and expensive ride. I just, I had no idea how much it would actually cost her. Did you hit her? No. No, of course not. How could you even ask me that? Well, then what was the restraining order about then? I didn't hit her. But what happened to her in the end was worse. A lot worse. I don't want you to think that what we have is anything like what I had with Claudia Reston. Why? Because she's loaded and so am I? I didn't know that when I met you. Come on, you, you stole my car, you stole my wallet. You were living in the streets when I took you in. You were living on the streets? Not for that long. So what happened with this Claudia person? Well, you know about my dream. The vineyard, the winery, California. The Restons are a wine family. They go back <sighs> generations. I learned a lot from her father about how the business works. And what <laughs> antique French oak barrels to buy? Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I thought that I could get what I wanted with Claudia's money. 
She spent it like it didn't mean anything to her. I didn't think that it would mean anything to her to give it to me. And that justifies what you did. It doesn't justify anything. I'm trying to explain it. I was young. I was too stupid. I wasn't thinking about Claudia. I was thinking about myself and what I could get out of it. That doesn't change what you did. Or what you did to that girl, so why don't you tell Tess that? I'm trying to. Thank you. Let's all just let him finish. Well, so far, what you did sounds absolutely reprehensible. Yes, it was reprehensible. I want you to know that I was a different person before. I had no idea what it meant to love somebody so badly that it would kill you if you couldn't be with them anymore. Was Claudia in love with you? Yeah, she was. But I didn't... I didn't realize it until it was too late. I never told her that I loved her. It was just fun. It was a constant party. She just... I kept asking her for money, and she kept giving it to me. It was too easy. Until her father found out, and then he cut me off, so I dumped her. I had no idea that she would take it so badly. What did she do? She downed a bottle of pills. She didn't even do it somewhere where someone would find her. She didn't do it for attention. She wanted to die. Did she? No. Uh, somebody found it. It's by accident, they got her to hospital on time. But she was never the same again. In what way was she never the same? She had a nervous breakdown. She spent some time in hospital. They gave her pills to calm her down. They gave her pills to wake her up. They gave her pills, pills, pills for everything. I mean, she always liked drugs. But she was hooked. Her father figured it out, put her into rehab, and that's where she's been ever since. So you ruined this woman's life? Yes, I ruined the woman's life. And her family has been careful to remind me of the fact that they know it ever since. Are they the ones that came to beat you up? Yes. Why didn't you just tell me that? I didn't want it to look bad. <laughs> I didn't want it to look like I was doing the same thing to you. And I'm not. I swear. I hated what I did. I hated myself for doing it. But then I met you. It was like the universe was giving me a second chance. I never loved Claudia. I never told her that I loved her. It's just... It got out of control. I can't expect you to take me back. I can't expect you to forgive me. But if you will, Tess, I swear to you, I will never hurt you. I will love you, and I will take care of you, and I will take care of that baby forever. I swear it, if you'll let me. Do you believe me, Tess? I love you. I won't hurt you. I'm sorry. You have nothing to be sorry for.